Hi guys, it's Jasmine. It's been a minute, at least since I've actually filmed. This morning I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna do a vlog. It's been two weeks since I've actually vlogged because I kind of compiled all of my vlogs together before I left for vacation and scheduled them ahead of time because I knew I'd be away and wouldn't want to vlog stuff while I was technically on vacation. So I'm vlogging today, long story short, and I took you guys around with me and it was kind of all over the place, but honestly, what vlog isn't all over the place? Obviously, I started my morning with my Nespresso, some water, some working out. As you guys know, we got a new exercise bike recently. Now, Steven was trying it, and since not two people can go on at the same time because it's one bike, I decided to do a little bit of yoga, a little bit of conditioning and stretching. This was perfect as well because I had some classes later on with Flexbase, which absolutely killed me. Like, I'm still sore to this day, and it's the next day as I'm recording this voiceover. So I'm glad I took it easy in the morning. During vacation, I didn't really do that much physical work to be honest it was a lot of time spent in front of the television watching shows reading books sitting in the bathtub in a nice bubble bath with a glass of wine overall very relaxing which made me feel even more excited to get back to work and back to my regular schedule and routine because i felt rejuvenated i felt rested i felt ready to kick butt specifically my own butt new goals, new me after this vacation. That being said, I'm trying not to be too ambitious with my goals right now because I know that if I jump into this full throttle, full throttle, that is such a funny word, full throttle, I know I will be burnt out in the next month and will just wanna lay down for a whole week and I'm all about sustainability right now, shouldn't we all be? Long story short, wanna start out pretty easy get into the flow of things, take it easy, listen to my body, yada yada. Anyways, I got these dose juices recently and they are amazing. We went to the grocery store this morning or I guess I went by myself. It's so cold, you can see my breath in the car. Today was actually Valentine's Day, so as I was walking around Walmart, I actually saw a lot of white roses, red roses, flowers in general, and I picked some up for Steven because I thought, Boys like flowers too, right? For Valentine's Day. So I picked up these really lovely white roses, got a ton of fruit and veggies for our fridge to stock up on, went home, unpacked. And I love going to the grocery store first thing in the morning when I'm energized. I had my juice on the way there. I really had to go to the bathroom though, so I had to use the bathroom in Walmart because I was not gonna make it. I thought my bladder was gonna burst. Anyways, TMI. I put the rose up for Steven as a little surprise. I don't think he expected it. He definitely didn't expect it, but that's what it looked like anyways with the flowers out and I lit a candle. Be all romantic. Look at me, a true Casanova. Another completely random goal that I thought of while I was at the cottage was to actually prepare my meals a little bit better and do a little bit more variety. Yes, I know you guys have seen this oatmeal spread many times before, but I thought I would start incorporating different breakfasts every morning. Anyways, I did some laundry, of course, because it was Monday, we were back from vacation. I formatted my class in this pretty little book I think I actually got from Dollarama. I mean, come on, it's so pretty. Now, I'm the kind of girl who likes to format all of her classes and organize things pretty last minute just because I like to do things that I actually feel like I want to in that moment, in that day. So I prepare my flex space classes an hour before as well as my dance classes. And can we talk about this workout set, the sports bras from Winners and the Bottoms I think are from Forever 21, but I'm obsessed. So I made some lunch afterwards and I know the plastic packaging is something I've been trying to get away from, but quite honestly, living in rural Ontario, it's been pretty difficult because there's not a market in sight and everything is in plastic, which stinks. I'm trying my best though, I promise. But I made some lunch, I made some green beans with some sesame miso sauce, some roasted vegetables, some quinoa, topped it off with some dressing maple tahini that I made myself with a burger on the side as well for some extra protein. Now in the last class that I did, I got so sweaty. So I absolutely had to wash my face with the vitamin E cleanser from the body shop. I also used a face mask from the body shop, which was the coffee one. Now it said leave on for five to 10 minutes. I definitely left it on for way longer than it said, but I felt really good after. I think it actually had some coffee beans ground in it. This is my bookmark, which is so pretty. I don't remember where I got it from, but I've had it for forever. I've been reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. And again, she's so inspirational go read, go read that book, go research her, go listen to her interviews. She is an incredible woman and a huge inspiration 
for women today and young girls. Anyways, I was replying to some emails here, replying to a few exciting brand collaborations you guys should be seeing soon. I'm so excited. I can't announce it yet, but I'm so excited. I washed my hands before I washed my face, which is super important and super transformative. Then I put on this belief cream, which is super nice. Then I got ready for my classes because I was teaching in the studio today, tonight. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, on Valentine's Day, instead of just having one Valentine's, I have two, three, four, this one too. Um, so I'm going to take care of that now. And this morning was kind of a whirlwind. Um, we got back from vacation late yesterday. We unpacked like the trailer, the snowmobile, pretty much everything. And we just crashed last night and we got pizza. It was really delicious. But you know that feeling after vacation, you're kind of bloated. You don't feel 100% yourself. So I really wanted to take time today and this morning to kind of reset after vacation. We're all bloated after vacation. That's totally normal. So I had a ginger shot from Dose and I had one of their green juices. I headed to the grocery store because we were out of groceries. So I went to the grocery store and got a lot of groceries that were really delicious. I some lunch when I got back, but before that I actually taught a flex space class. Um, I didn't get to record all of it, but I recorded a little bit of it, but it was really, really fun. Go check them out. I'll put their Instagram in the link here. I'm going to do a fun makeup look because tonight I'm going to the dance studio and since it's Valentine's Day, I thought what better time than to sit down with you guys and chit chat and do a little Valentine's Day look. Um, yes, I know my lips are also really chapped because it is so cold where we are in Canada. When we went to the cottage away from where we live now and it's pretty north, so it was really, really cold, freezing cold, so don't mind that. Um, I already washed and prepped my face. I actually did a face mask because this is one of the steps I wanted to incorporate on my reset back from vacation. So I showered late last night. I did a hair mask as well, which I didn't record. I am using the Kosas concealer that I really like. It's so melty and dewy and it feels like moisturizer pretty much, which I know a lot of people don't like. I also already have eyeliner mascara because I was teaching this morning. I taught two classes this morning. So um, I pretty much had a lot of free time. With that free time, I went grocery shopping. I cooked dinner. Um, I pre-cooked dinner and also cooked myself lunch, which I don't usually do. But coming back from vacation, I feel really rejuvenated and motivated to be my happiest, healthiest self. This morning I was going to bike, but Steven wanted to bike because he hasn't actually had the chance to use the bike. In my last vlog, I used the spin bike and I did a spin class on it. So that was really fun for him. And since it's Valentine's Day, I actually got him like oh, a set of roses, um, bouquet of roses, because <laughs> boys like flowers too, guys. So I think he liked that. Um, some mini eggs, some other candies they had. They're pretty much out of everything at, um, I almost said winners, at Walmart. I don't want to put too much on because I will be wearing a mask. So I'm pretty much doing my eyes and that's it. Sorry, I switched cameras. My last one died, but it's really nice. I was talking earlier about things I like to incorporate on my reset routine. So definitely getting proper nutrition and proper sleep too, because that was something we lacked on vacation, but our dog was sick and she's fine, by the way. Think I'm gonna do like pink on the top, this candy color, and then put sparkles on the inside. Penny, that's so pretty. Tonight I pretty much teach from 4.15 until 8.45. So I'm probably gonna get ready to go. I'm gonna take, take my teaching notes. Although for Valentine's Day, most of the time for holidays, the kids get to make up dances and play games. It's pretty fun today. Oh, I also finally got new ballet shoes in the mail the other day. Finally, I've been using socks or my ballet shoes that notoriously have holes in them.
Like I mentioned previously, I really want to vary my diet a lot more. Not only to be a happier and healthier person for my body, but also for my cooking abilities, to be quite frank. I'm such a creature of habit, so I tend to stick to the same thing. So I'm really trying to challenge myself to broaden my horizons and my cooking abilities. So rather than having my same old oatmeal as usual, I actually made a breakfast sandwich with these maple mini sausage patties from Gardein. They were so delicious, so high in protein, and I of course paired it off with this ginger lemon shot from Dose, which also had turmeric, which is awesome for inflammation. Hi guys, it is February 14th, the day after Valentine's Day. Uh, I meant February 15th. Clearly the coffee had not hit my pea brain yet. And I'm going to go pick up my little kitty cat at my mom's house while we went on vacation. We had to drop her off there because the cottage is a timeshare so it doesn't allow for pets unless they can be crated and I'm not gonna create a cat. So um, she's at my mom's house and I'm gonna go pick her up. Now it is like 10 a.m. so hopefully I'll be back. Well, I will be back on time for my classes. I have classes from four until eight today. So not a hugely busy day, but I have a lot of things I have to catch up on. I have to do my taxes. I have to do very monotonous things. I had to do thumbnails. Kind of boring today, to be honest, but as you saw, I did a spin class this morning. And now again, I'm going to my mom's house. I had a shower, I had breakfast. Um, it's the day after Valentine's Day. So we've been munching on a lot of chocolates. And I know I said the original purpose for this vlog was to kind of be a reset after vacation to yeah, just to feel my best again. Um, Valentine's Day was the day we got back. Obviously lots of chocolate. Nonetheless, it's totally fine. I do feel a lot more rested now because we had a really good night's sleep last night. We went to bed around like 11 and I woke up at, I think Steve woke up around 7 or something or 7.30. I feel really well rested compared to yesterday. I was like a walking zombie. Even my students can attest to that. They, they had to endure my low energy last night, unfortunately. <laughs> I did a little bit of exercise this morning, which I think helped with my energy levels now. I had a coffee obviously before and I did a spin class. Now I only did the first 15 minutes of that spin class because my cardio is not up to par like it used to be and I don't really want to push myself because I was definitely addicted to the gym and exercise in an unhealthy way. I used it to cope with stress which was good in the beginning but then I just went for way too long to be honest and quite frankly that's not sustainable so my goals right now are really just to exercising to make it sustainable rather than um, stressful. Sustainability over stress I guess. So I did a really easy spin class this morning. I did a beginner one because the first time I tried at the bike Whew. in my last vlog that's going up today actually I did the spin class that was for advanced students and I, I I almost threw up oh my gosh um but yeah today's biking class was really nice I feel really good I feel a little bit sore from yesterday's class I did with flex space which is super awesome they killed it I'm really trying to take it easy but again keep it sustainable so I don't plateau or I don't burn out because I used to burn out so much when I would go to the gym every single day for hours. I don't think I ever had a day off. Two years ago, I was going to the gym every single day. I don't have any specific body goals. Like I'm not trying to gain muscle or lose fat or anything. I'm just trying to be healthy. Anyways, I'm gonna go to my mom's house. I need to shovel the snow off my car. Not looking forward to that. I put on a lip mask last night and you guys saw my clips earlier. My lips were super chapped. I almost didn't put those in because I felt really self-conscious, but I put them in regardless and now my my lips feel much more rejuvenated. So next time you see me, I'll either be at my mom's house or be here with Luna. Now look at this professionalism. Set after holidays. Actually, perfect 
planning to receive some PR today from Dose Juice in Toronto. And all of these juices are so healthy, refreshing, and rejuvenating. Rejuvenating, I should say, but I'm so excited to dig into them. Guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to film my outro, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I really liked hanging out with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and until next time, bye now.